Welcome. We are about to get started with something I've been very excited for for about 18 months. We have a brand new thing to install. Uh, as you may have seen in the pre-titles, we had uh, an overview of our Asteroids cabinet. And this arrived today. It is a silk screened control panel and it's going to go into this asteroid. So you see we have a, an overlay on the asteroids control panel already, which is new. But this is brand new, silk screened, and it's going to go on this. We're going to transplant the buttons and the volcano buttons. I've already installed the thruster there, you can see. And also, well, it's hard to see at that one angle there, but you can see it behind me here. Uh, so this is already installed, and we are going to... Uh, we got to solder a couple wires here for the potentiometer for the thruster control. And then we are going to remove the old control panel, transplant the buttons, and then we will do a gameplay demonstration. It's going to be fun. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to just move this here so we can see the uh, control panel here. Sorry about the clutter. So we're going to turn on our soldering iron. We've got our solder here. And we just need to do three of these things and then we can get to the, uh, the fun part. Not sure if you can see that camera angle there, but uh, so we're going to solder the black wire, the white wire, and the red wire onto these. Uh, terminals here and it's kind of hard to get at this angle here hard to get out here.
I'm gonna do these one at a time. So it's red, white, and black. I gotta move these wires out of the way here. All right, so red, white, and black. That's what we're doing here. So. on there. We do the white one next. Clean that off a bit there. Next is the white. This is kind of hard to maneuver here, but what I'm trying to do is get the wire wrapped around it and it's gonna make a better connection when I'm finished. Oh, this is tricky. All right, I'm gonna get this, this one done next. I have to be careful not to. <sighs> I'm not the greatest at soldering, but uh, we'll see if that wants to. That seems pretty good there. And we got one more to go. We might put some tape over this later, but for now I just want to get it to work. Usually I just, uh, I've been hesitant to solder things because uh, it means extra work. And sometimes the extra work is worth the effort because if you have a connection that's not Solid, it can flake out on you, and then you have to rip it all apart again, anyways. And uh, yeah, all right, one more to go. Last one. All right, we'll turn our soldering iron off and we will set that aside. And now we will just do the, uh, we're gonna take the old control panel out. Yeah, all three of those are solid. <clears throat> so we'll move this angle back up here. 
I'm new at this multi-streaming angle thing, so bear with me. All right, cool. That probably works. All right, so uh, stage two is going to be removing the old control panel. And, oh, look, there's a Pac-Man here. What's he doing here? Walker, 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 walker. Uh, we're going to put him aside for now. And, oh, look, there's a charger from Galaxian. Uh, very cute as well. We're going to put him aside. Don't know how he got on there, but uh, maybe Pac-Man would like to eat him. Walker, 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 walker. I think the Galaxian's one of the Pac-Man fruit anyway. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we got to open up the coin door, and then we're going to loosen the... Uh, thumb screws that hold this whole thing down so the next step is to open the coin door which we will do all right and as you saw earlier we have the coveted owl eye coin door which is pretty rare and i actually have the wiring um, to get it hooked up the harness inside the asteroids is different than the plug for the owl eye and unfortunately the owl eye has been cut so the harness that was here is gone which means I have to put new pins on all these wires put new Molex plugs on it and then uh, hope it works out but I have instructions on how to do that so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reach in here and we're gonna loosen up the, uh, the thumb screw that holds this down and there's a little washer here too Okay, one down, and we have new hardware for mounting the uh, the new control panel, so we're going to obviously install that, and then we can leave this other control panel, we can hang on to it in case we want to restore it back to the factory, uh, plain asteroids, and I've also got the marquee for it too, so having a nice marquee and a control panel is a good thing in this business, so... All right, let's close up the coin door for a second. Dealing with those wires would be another project for a different day. So you can see now we've got the control panel loose and it just uh, gently opens up there. And you can, yeah, so we're gonna take the buttons out of here. We are going to have to transplant uh, Oh no, the wood, the, we're just going to take the whole wood thing off, and then, yeah, so this is, this is going to be interesting. So, we will, we got to remove this whole control panel though, because this whole thing has to come off. So, we'll probably do that first. Uh, let's see if we have the right socket for this, I think that we do, yep. Alright, cool, so, let's... Da, 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 da. We have to loosen the volcano buttons and then we're going to take this whole chunk of wood off and put it on the other control panel and then we can, or actually, wait a second, that's, that might not work because the piece of wood is different. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> could be interesting. Because we need to mount the buttons to the wood and we don't have, oh yeah. We might have to cut and drill new holes, possibly. Hmm, a bit of a conundrum here. Well, let's loosen this uh, wooden thing here anyhow. We'll figure this out as we go along. A little bit new at this, so. Put that there.
I always think things are going to go smoothly and then something comes along that says, no, this is not as straightforward as you hoped it was going to be. So now we have to loosen up these button holders. Oh man, this is, this is tricky. Very, very tricky. We might have to, yeah, we, we may have to cut, uh, see the buttons are the same distance apart, so we might just have to go and cut this piece of wood. If we cut this piece of wood, then we should be able to to uh, sort this out if my we have to take this piece of wood off anyway so it's not like we're wasting any time here all right two down three down two to go for those of you just joining us we are in the process of replacing a our original asteroids control panel with a multi-asteroids control panel and the reason we're doing this is because I have a thruster controller and on the multi-asteroids board there is an interface to connect an analog thruster which is all kinds of awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this thruster, well, it's already installed, but we're going to hook it up to the, the board and we'll actually be able to test lunar lander. Uh, we will uh, we're going to have to remove these volcano buttons here temporarily. So they're going to have to come out as well. I don't want to clean those while we've got them out. But uh, yeah, if we're lucky, we can just go and cut this piece of wood. And then we can reinstall the, the leaf switches. I hope. I hope it's that simple. But... Uh, we might have to go visit the Home Depot and uh, do a little cutting, which I'm not averse to doing. We'll figure that out later. All right, so that's our wood that is in charge of all of the button holders. So we're going to just measure that up against the put this up here for now and then we're going to pull this whole control panel out of here which will be great so we'll do that for right now okay, we've got the ground plug on the middle one oops that's no good Goes in the middle. This whole control panel hangs on with these three bolts here. The date inside here says February 21st, 1980. Crazy. So I think asteroids came out in either late 79 or early 80, if I'm not mistaken. So this game made a lot of money back in the day. It was very popular. So popular, in fact, a lot of the Atari employees would play this game on their break, which is wild. Because you're thinking, like, here's all these guys literally building these games off the factory, off the assembly line. And uh, in their spare time, they're playing the game that they're in the process of building, which is... I think that's amusing myself, so. Be careful here, we don't scratch the 
the owl eye coin door. All right, so we've got the old control panel off. We're gonna set this over here, out of our way. And then we're going to we'll get the middle one installed here first, just to hold it in place. And we're gonna check the, check the distance of the button holes. Like I said, if we can just get away with moving the wood from the the old to the new, um, as long as the buttons are the same dimension away from each other, we should be fine uh, because the leaf switches are mounted to the piece of wood and we don't, um, yeah, could be tricky. So the leaf switches, or we might have to relocate the leaf switches so they're at a different angle maybe. It's gonna be interesting. So, um, let's maybe just line this up for a second and see if the wood wants to, uh, to match up with the, the holes here. Again, uh, I think things are going to be smooth and then all of a sudden they're not. So, that's okay. Alright, so here's the new control panel. And the buttons here are, maybe we'll just kind of angle this in here and see what happens. I'll just uh, kind of pull this off to the side. We can do that. The problem is the thruster's in the way. Yeah, the buttons look like they're going to line up, but the problem is, is that there's excessive wood on each side. Um, so, let's maybe put this over here for a second, and we can put this on the ground and maybe look at it from a different angle. Let's actually take this harness off of here for a second. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the buttons all loose here, and we can see switches so that it doesn't run well I don't know the only issue I see with this is that the wood is going to be hanging on top of the thruster cover a little bit so ideally it would be nice to relocate that so that we don't have to trim the wood and this side's okay if we just cut that on the edge it should be fine Okay, well, oh, okay, and then I think the, so normally the, the hole for the mount would match the one that's on the control panel. In this case, we have a separate bolt with some spacers to make up for the lack of wood. I, I see how this is going to work. And I guess the other question is, are we going to have enough cable length to move the volcano buttons up? is another interesting conundrum. We might need to uh, we might need to make some cable extensions by the looks of things unless we can yeah wow this is not as simple as I was hoping it was going to be I don't see one of these cables is soldered here too They're not very well either all right, well, we're gonna have to cut this piece of wood, first of all, and then second, we're gonna have to remount the leaf switch on the one side so that it 
the mesh thing works. So, yeah, fun times. All right, well, um, let's let's at least fire up the game and see if we can play the Lunar Lander because. I'd like to demonstrate that, if nothing else. So we're going to take this harness here and plug this into the expansion board. And then we will, maybe for now, just uh, keep, this, uh, keep this thing in here. Even though it's kind of janky. With the, we don't really care about the buttons right now, but uh, plug this in. And then the harness is going to go right down in there. Okay. And I'm just going to reach inside and start the game because it's hard to start without having the uh, 